Hello, it's the IT Guys 99 here. Welcome back to Microsoft PowerPoint 2016. So last time we looked at how we can create our first slides and how we can set our themes. So today we need to look at creating some more slides, rearranging them, deleting them, and editing them to our needs. So first off, to create a new slide, enter the Home tab of the ribbon. We're going to come to New Slide. You can either just click New Slide here, or use the keyboard shortcut Control M, and this will add another slide identical to the one we've already used. If we wanted to set a slide with a different layout, then we can click the down arrow, and we'll be given a series of options. So, for example, this one. To rearrange the slides, have a slide selected that you want to move, then hold down the left mouse button and drag it to where you want to reposition the slides. If I add an extra slide in and you want to move more than one slide at once, for example two and three, select both of them by first clicking on one, then holding down shift on your keyboard and clicking on the second. Then hold down your left mouse button and drag them and you'll then be able to drag both slides at once. Next up we're going to be looking at bullet points. So this has already got bullet points as an option. However, if it didn't, like this, then you can come under the Home tab to where it says Bullets or Numbering. And then click Bullets to turn bullet points on. This will then let you type some bullet points, like so. To edit these bullet points, select the text, click the down button and click bullets and numbering. This will let you change the bullet point. You can use one of their pre-selected ones, use a picture or customize your own. You can also change the size of the bullet points so we can make them a bit bigger and change the color. I'm going to make it pink so it stands out and click OK. As you can see the bullet points have got a little bit bigger and they're now pink. If I wanted to change this to numbers, select the text and then click numbering and it will switch to numbering automatically. To save your presentations, you can either use the floppy disk here, the keyboard shortcut control S, or click on file, then go to save as. I will then save mine in our OneDrive as business presentation. And click save. Once you've saved it, We'll then be able to open it again. To open presentations, when you start PowerPoint, go to File, Open, and then you'll see our recent presentation there. To edit text within your PowerPoint, select the text, like so. Then you can right align, left align, center, or justify your text. I'm going to center mine. You can then increase. We'll decrease the font size, capitalize each word, make it all upper or lower case, or toggle the case of your letters, change the font, change the color, strike through, shadow, underline, italics, and bold. And that will let you adjust your font. That's all we've got to show you in this tutorial. We've got many two more tutorials to come, so make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and a comment. But for now, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.